There are a couple of places where getting temples would actually be pretty potent. Uh, is there anything else I need the money for? Not at the moment. And temples is nice because that's shock resistant. Alright, the first of the uh, big wave of ships should be coming very, very soon. And then hopefully we can start paying off these loans. And even though I am slightly behind in... Actually, no, I want to get ahead in Diplotech so that I can get the 20% trade efficiency. I was going to say I have a mission, which is to upgrade all of the wine provinces to 11 development, but I need to save the points. All right, here we go. No chance of these two fighting. They've been, they've had so many opportunities to go to war and they never have. I think that Bjarnrik and Elnar are really in collusion. I don't think they'll ever go to war. Like even when I was fighting against Elnar, Bjarnrik did nothing to help. Not even finance. So, no. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Oh, we have a new model. Although after the war they did give me a chunk of money to, I guess, help pay off loans and stuff. Either the Elfpocalypse or the Horsepocalypse or the Jadpocalypse. I mean, there are... Three superpowers, Jad, Kurianula, and Elnar. I guess Bjarnrek, I think Bjarnrek's a bit of a um, sleeping giant. They're actually very, very strong and very, very wealthy. I wouldn't be surprised if Bjarnrek has the highest income. Because their colonial value, look at all that gold. They were purposefully re-rolling um, colonists to get gold. I didn't have that luxury. I had to try and compete with Elnar to try and colonize as quickly as possible. Fight them! Where did Elnar start? There. That's well judged. We're only one over my uh, limit. Nice. Oh my god, the idiot finally died. Heck yes. Oh, Dominic, long may you rule. And in fact, I need to convert you into a mage right now. Because you should, in theory, be a really, really good commander. Oh, hello.
Artificers. With the spread of artifice, we must decide how to organize the artificers. I want to do whichever of these has the least absolutism. Although production efficiency would be pretty amazing for us. We're going to go all out artifice. Which is annoying because that's just killed my absolutism even further. Consolidate before you fight. Can I embargo you yet? Yes, I can. Here we go. Now the money is going to start turning around. Sixty-six percent embargo. That's sixty-six percent trade that he's no longer stealing from me. So this is about to take a massive chunk. So my income right now is thirty-nine. Ah! I can't check. What's with all the hot joints today? Ah. Victor, that's Demaria. Oh, maybe they won't have noticed the um, embargo. How am I feeling about this game? Lawrence, a spent force. We've had our glory days at the beginning. At this point, we're just around to try to influence things as best we can. We need a revolution. I mean, revolutionary government uh, does give morale, doesn't it? Because our main shortcoming is morale. That, that's where we're struggling. <coughs> and getting defensive ideas would definitely help with that. I feel like we've gone from being the France of this game to being the Spain of this game. At one point we had a really big, marvellous empire, and now we're just kind of constrained to our peninsula. <clears throat> 39 ducats became 54, so yes, that did have a big effect. Alright. It was a good decision to focus a bit more on trade. And also, production just went through the roof. What changed there? Hmm. Maybe I do want to get another trade fleet going. We do have maritime ideas. We can maintain this easily. Like really easily. 418 ducats. Do it. Do it. Do it now. General died. Bring out another one. Whoa, he's a bit rubbish. 0611. Well, I guess the uh, the age of good Laurentish generals has passed. 
Imagine if gone Goward instead of Laurent, no elves, no empire, no cavalry. Yeah. I was actually supposed to be playing as Goward first and then they gave it to Slurf and I don't know why they put me in Laurent in the end. I was pretty happy to play whatever though. I'm not that picky. I convert one and I lose three. Every time. There we go. Now that's going to be another 20% trade efficiency. So we're currently making 77 ducats, 56 surplus. That should go up a chunk again. Ninety. Sweet. Admin. We are ten years ahead of time, so yeah, may as well. Production efficiency would be very nice. Oh man, I didn't even have the dev cost reduction. Forgot about that. More development. Okay, so what I need to do here... ...is basically make sure that each of these cloth provinces can get to 11. Which they should be able to now. Not cloth, shoot. Wrong thing. Wine. Okay, and then for the rest, we just stick it into manpower on any manpower province. Another conversion. Off we go. If I do another multiplayer on Ambanar, which nation will you play? Well, usually they're seeded rather than um, chosen. Probably like the halflings. I have a feeling that halflings would be really strong. Just because of their emphasis on mercenaries. Like BPEC. I'd, I'd quite like BPEC, I think. If I had my own choice. Because then you're in the Empire and you can deal with Empire politics. You're in the Dame's Head, which is just a ridiculously strong trade node. And you're a halfling, so you have halfling military. Grand Navy will increase our naval force limits, but I think at this point I really do need to just focus on getting the cloth, sorry, not the cloth, the wine provinces to 11. And now that I've caught up in Diplotech, I can do that. Seven percent embargo. That's pretty harsh. Hey, we got them into the negative. That 
No, it's worth 280. Oof. What are these worth? 158. Yeah, all the money is going into that. So Dame's head is worth the most. Oh, land maintenance reduction, heck yeah. And then one more, we get the production efficiency and dev cost. That's going to make a big difference to us. And in fact, I should probably hold out until I've got Smithsonian economics. Yeah, I think I will. I'm not going to do any more developments until I've got Smithsonian economics. Spending as much as I just did was a mistake. Because I'm very close to getting that 20% reduction. And Jad's the military hedgeman. No surprises there. So who's going to become the economic one? Bjornrik. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Jad, Elnar, Bjornrik. Well, I'm at maximum manpower now. What's our greatest strength? Position. I mean, theoretically it's the strength of their cavalry, but cavalry sucks in this game. This, except early on. Early on, Lawrence really, really strong. Don't get me wrong. But mid to late game, they're middling. Otherwise, their greatest strength is just their location. Like, they are very well positioned in terms of having just so much farmland. And up here as well. So they could theoretically build very, very tall. They just don't have any ideas or anything to support building tall. I have a surprising amount of money. I should probably be spending that. Um, let's start upgrading these forts to level 6. I want to be the most fortified place in the world. Just make it super difficult to conquer us. Plus this should add to more army tradition as well. Ooh, price of livestock went up. That's good for us. We get morale. I know we get discipline. We don't get morale. Oh, at the end we do. Duh. Oh yeah, attrition for enemies. So actually, yes, our forts are really, really good. So I'm going to continue doubling down with that. I would like to think that we're a pretty fortified region. How are we doing in terms of fully maintained forts plus 0.57? That can go up to 1. And having a high permanent army tradition would mean we have the bonus morale of armies from that. Right, the other thing I should check is to see how strong a mage we are. Quite a lot better than the previous guy. Um, building up transmutation could be good. If 
I've built up your influence, preferably without changing the um, absolutism. That would be nice. I don't think I can, though. Patronage of the Arts would get me... F Actually, five would do it. Do I want to lose the absolutism from this, though? I'm not convinced. We're too reliant on absolutism. Ooh, 100 ducats a month. Oh, and then it goes away. Because trade just disappeared for some reason. Has Demeria shifted their trade fleet here? Yes, they have. Army maintenance, 101 ducats. Fleet maintenance, 7. I think I can probably afford to go even further over the, uh, the limit. So I'm going to do that. Let the contest for trade income begin. But as soon as we go to war, our navy is going to get absolutely obliterated. And we'll lose a massive chunk of our income. But so it goes. I'm aware of the weakness. Now I'm just getting greedy. You need legendary transmutation with the crown. That is true. Yeah, you know what? We're going to study transmutation. Let's check that first, and then we'll decide whether we want to study. It was this. We need legendary enchantment, renowned transmutation. So enchantment's really the one that I need to study. Unfortunately, this guy is already 42, so he's not going to be around forever. Also, we have no consort. Um, who can we marry? Elk March? Where does it show the Diplo slots? And also, we could actually just end up allying some random low-level AI. Like Vern. I think Vern's AI now. Yeah, because they moved to the Drake's thingy. Let's start improving relations with Vern. See what we can do with them. Astonishing performance. 50% cheaper level 1 stab cost guy. 50% cheaper is 50% cheaper. That's you. Uh, you're already... Nope, you're not 50% cheaper. Upgrade. Upgrade. 
Perfect. All right, it is time for me to build some more forts. I can't win. I'm trying to convert these as quickly as I can, but I just can't stay ahead of them. Can I annex them? Oh, is that where you can see it? I've always just gone to here. And yes, you are right. Let it begin. Huzzah! There's a proper naval race going on at the moment between me and Damaria. <laughs> Ideas has he got? Uh, he does have maritime and he has trade as well. Will I just give up on the religion just convert? No! We are loyal to Adian. Adian is the patron of our nation. In Adian we trust. Even if he's failing us miserably. Well, I could privateer. The problem uh, with privateering is it would also piss off Conwell and Telgir, and I really don't want to do that. If we go to war with Demaria, though, then maybe. Well, actually, no, because I wouldn't be able to keep those ships safe. Yeah, going to war with Demaria would be bad. Aktakbar, Nushaya, Katarata, and Sinvar are at war again. These two seem to fight an awful lot. <laughs> All right, so Vern would now accept the alliance. And now they would accept a royal marriage. Here we go. That's what the end of the session is. No, good. Because we've got like three minutes to go. Because I would definitely forget to do this next time otherwise. Do I have my ally this game? Yeah, no much hierarchy though it is a substitute at the moment. There we go. We're married. It's fine. The Silorian line will stand. We'll wait until you get to like 50, then I'll probably need to press the button and get another. What can I do with the artifices, by the way? Fort Defense Siege Ability. Increased Autonomy just reduces my absolutism. And... That's it. So, no. Oh, 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 oh. Wasn't the one I was hoping it was. We're getting so close. Build me another trade fleet worthy of Mordor. Doesn't the session go on for an hour more? No, because remember we started an hour early. due to get this in four months, but I have a feeling that's also when we're going to stop playing. We shall see. We shall see. Do I post these to YouTube? Yes, I do. So you can find the beginnings of a much more vigorous Laurent up on the uptops. 
a memory of a better time for our nation. to do this before the end of the session which will be at the end of this year most likely come on because I want to make sure I get this done before the save is finished grab you go into development sort by no not to that that there we go scroll down find the wine you go up to 11 you go up to 11. You go up to 11. That didn't give me the mission? Why not? Why didn't that give me the mission? No! You! Still not. What? What am I lacking? Oh, maybe the autonomy. At least 11. Oh, it probably needs to be 12. And I definitely don't have the Diplo for that. Alright, let's see what the available policies were. Discipline and tax modifier. I mean, I'll definitely take the discipline. Except I think we just ended, so that probably did not get carried over. Must remember to do the policies next session. Although maybe do that when we go to war as opposed to now. Alright, I'll head over to the main chat so it's about to get loud. I warn you. <laughs> oh, God, that was so good. No word. <laughs> We need more sassy teenage girl torsion voice. Well, at least alone doesn't have a larger armor than me this time. <laughs> yeah, the second I just now. Wait, what is Drake's card and torsion? Why do you get Domino? Why do you guys have a truce? I'm so confused. I don't know. We had a truce oh. earlier. I don't know why we had it. Maybe event or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Also, why is the City Razors actually more genocidal than me? Like... <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, you're actually... Is city no, we like Dwarves, though. Dwarves, dwarves are our friends. Uh, you're actually doing better than me, which is impressive. Well, it's just I don't have them, so I can't even think about getting them up. I have Centaurs and Humans, and some Dwarves. Yeah. We just have Trolls, but we don't talk about those. Yeah, ex I, I started expelling the humans this session, so... I tried to do scanner bag, but it didn't work. Oh, wait, third navy? Oh. Who's got the third navy? <laughs> that, that guy. guy. Sad I'm little. building a hundred heavy ships. My world is on I can build a hundred. Is there a scanner bag up already? Yeah. 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 Oh, excellent. Let's have a spicy at this. But what we're saying is we should get the second, third, fourth, fifth largest navies auto attack number one. Wait, I'm fourth? <laughs> no way. Navy wise? What size is your navy? I'm surprised by that. Who's I mean, to be fair, there aren't that many people with navies in this game, let's be real. That is true. Oh, Demaria is probably second, right? Don't they have a massive navy? Demaria's uh, navy is yep. scary. We're currently in a bit of a trade war over my trade node. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you dared to send privateers. I will never forgive. Oh, it's so tempting to send privateers to Dame's crown. Gamepad, yeah, that thing's got hang on, hundreds. hang on. That's where all the trade power's going. 
Oh, oh my god. Well, completely on fire. And so the Empire went oh, well. in for round two on Mordred. <laughs> yeah, Mordred. Yeah, for this, you torsion, need any money? Torsion, by the way. I would I'm like not some, but I don't to want you to attack two. me regardless. It's not fair. It wouldn't be fair that for, for a second time in a row. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm the second log largest navy. I would not. I'm just not happy. With, no. with, I am happy, but I'm just I my can send people. You some money to help. Yeah, uh, and I and as usual, as I promised, no matter how, even if even no matter what, I'm gonna send it through the the air ducts, like I promised. I always do that because oh. I don't want to, the serpent's rod is a bitch. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it there. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. Just like D -D 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 Goss, uh, Kalaki, Hustyeet have done. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. And if you have enjoyed this, then please do consider subscribing. It does help the channel out. Or you can also check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Viking. And on that note, Kovash Clay, thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Maudlings. Good to have you joining us. Uh, Enterbright, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, that's it for me for now. I will be back again at 10, so in two hours from now, bearing in mind we started this an hour early just because of time difference issues with our American compatriots. So 10 p.m. this evening, GMT, we will be continuing... I think it was Hearts of Iron. Let me just go and double-check that. Yeah, Hearts of Iron Force, that's going to continue with the Imperial Germany campaign. If you have enjoyed this and you enjoy all things fantasy related, then I am doing a D&D &D campaign, which is tomorrow, Sunday, uh, starting at midnight. No, starting at 11 p.m. GMT, 11 p.m. Sunday night, we're doing Dungeons & Dragons. That is continuation with the Digital Dragons game where we're playing Icewind Dale. It's been a fantastic campaign so far, and you should definitely come join us. Anyway, that's it for me for now. Thanks everyone for watching. We will be back again with more multiplayer next Saturday. Um, otherwise, you can catch me on loads of streams, as I have mentioned. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you next time. We should probably raid somebody. Let's go and see who's who's around. Oh, Templin's on. Of course, because he's on US time, so he's an hour earlier. All right, let's go and raid Templin Institute as they are doing the excellent Antares Confederation campaign. So head on over there. Say hello from Mordred Viking. I'd love to see his chat absolutely lit up by the Viking raid, which you can do by copying and pasting Viking raid. Or if you're a subscriber, you can do it with the long ships. There will still be the night stream tonight. Yes, 10 p.m. We'll be doing um, Hearts of Iron. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you two hours from now. Until then, goodbye.